Hey, it's Aja. Um, today I'm going to try a vlog. Um, I'm gonna call this the regular regular day vlog and um, just gonna take you through what I do on a regular regular day. Um, it is October, no, haha, <laughs> it's not October, it's November 7th today. It's a Tuesday, nothing special going on today. And um, I don't know. Some people wanted to know what that's like here in Korea, where I live, and teach English. So, it's already like 7.05 a.m., which means I'm already running late if I'm still in my robe. But it's okay. You know, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. I'm going to go brush my teeth do a little chicka chicka, you know what I'm saying? And then get dressed and uh, take you with me. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, I still have my bonnet on my head. That's because there's a rule you, if you're riding your bike to school, even as an adult, you have to wear a helmet and your girl is not trying to mess up her curls. So, I got the helmet, but I also got my bonnet on. And here is my ride to school. I guess that it rained last night, so I'm gonna have to wipe off these little water drops on the seat before I go. But yeah, here's my bicycle. Um, I don't wanna trick anyone into thinking that I'm like this super sporty girl and I always ride my bike to school. I've ridden my bike to school like twice ever. Uh, in Korea but you know I'm not going to the gym today I might as well get a little morning exercise in am I right I'm right okay okay I'll admit this isn't like a typical typical day I woke up a little bit earlier got out a little bit earlier than normally would so that I could stop on the way and show y'all like this countryside farming area but I basically drive past to get to work. Like, there's a road there. I mean, there's obviously there has to be a road. <laughs> there have to be ways for cars to get through. But yeah, isn't it pretty? Good morning, everyone. All right, and here is my office at school. See that pretty pink blanket over there? That one's mine. That's my desk. <sighs> Do -do -do -do. There's my class schedule. You can kind of see. You don't need to see that. Work stuff, work stuff, work stuff. My helmet that I just took off with my headscarf in it. Yes, I wore it the whole time until I got to a mirror. <laughs> Dirty ass mirror. <laughs> and yeah, this is my desk. Normally, let me turn you around. Normally, I would have like a really nice drink with me right now, like a coffee made or something, but unfortunately, I left my wallet at the gym last night, so I can't buy anything. But you know, it's probably for the best. <laughs> so, anyways, time to start my day. I'm gonna make some mixed coffee because, you know, as a teacher, I still got some, some, uh, privileges you know I can make myself some coffee some mixed coffee it's not it's a little less healthy but you know you do what you got to do sometimes yeah these are this is the science teacher's desk and this is my co English teacher's desk um, we're not gonna talk about her today we're gonna try and keep our thoughts positive here's a fridge sometimes there are treats in there but usually they're not for me usually they're for the kids um, here is the hot water boiler, which I'm going to turn on in just a second and get some water going so that I can make my coffee. Yay! Hey everyone, it's Aja again. It's now approaching the end of my day, and so 
finally I'm alone in the office again so I can film because obviously I'm not going to pull a camera out when I have other teachers in the room with me. But I think they went to some kind of meeting or something. You can probably hear the K-pop blasting in the background. That's because across that wall there's a classroom and they're doing after school classes. And the after school class that they have on today is like, um, I think it's called K-pop Bangsong Yonsep or something, K-pop Bangsong Dance or something like that. It's like they're learning the dance to like popular K-pop songs that are current. So that's what they're doing in the room next door. And I think that's super cute and I wish I could join. <laughs> but anyways, um, so while that's going on, I'm not really listening to that. I have headphones in and I am watching um, YouTube videos because I can. Um, right now I'm watching like one of the realest YouTubers. Uh, yeah, her name is Jazz Nicole and she makes videos about like wig making and maybe soon makeup tutorials and like crochet crochet braids uh, crochet locks and stuff like that so like a lot of the protective styles that I've done here in Korea I've done by watching her videos and like learning how to do it so that's what I'm doing with my time um, after all my classes have finished what else do I do when my classes are so first is lesson planning like first I prep the next classes that I'm gonna be doing and then I get on YouTube I don't just like not work at work it's just that um, I get done with the work I have to do first and then I do the stuff that's fun so yeah um, after this I guess I'm going to I mean it's 404 now I get out of work at 430 so I guess at 430 I'm going to get on my bike and go home yeah oh and on the way home I have to stop at the the studio where I take flying yoga and Pilates because yesterday I left my wallet there and fingers crossed nobody was horrible and you know ran off with it I don't have anything missing from my bank account so hopefully hopefully everything is still there and together and at the studio so I'm gonna ride my bike go to the studio get my my wallet and stuff go home eat dinner probably watch more YouTube I don't know anyways yeah this is like I don't know my main area that I hang out in in my neighborhood because down that street there's like an olive young and all the delicious food stuff and down that street is where my yoga studio is over yonder is absolutely nothing that I ever go to is over there but yeah we're gonna go to the yoga studio first see if I have my wallet and then to the doctor I'm still listening to music because that's what I do have my headphones in the goods. I got what I was looking for. I knew I left it there and I did. See because yesterday I went in with this bag that has my, it had my wallet and my earphones and my water bottle in it. But in my head I just went in with my water bottle because it was the biggest and most important thing of all the things I had. And so when I left the gym, I just left with my water bottle, which is not the most important thing. For some reason, that's how I remembered it, but 
Yeah, my wallet. I have it now. Yay! I hope y'all can hear me. It would be such a waste of my voice if you can't. Now, I'm gonna go see the doctor because the clinic closes at 7 and now it's like 6.30. Everything's so nice and close together. This is my clinic and I'm gonna go in now. Okay, so it's been about 10 or 15 minutes and I'm done with the doctor already. I guess I have some kind of weird skin. Basically, I'm having some kind of allergic reaction. At least the doctor is 90% sure that it's an allergic reaction. But, I've been there, let's see. But I've been there about two times. This was the third time visiting there. And he couldn't figure out why the medicine's not working. So they took a blood test. I guess maybe they're gonna check what I'm allergic to or something. I'm not really sure, but anyways. Now, I'm going to the pharmacy. I'm gonna get my prescription filled. He's giving me even more medicine. And then I gotta go back on Thursday. This is the most I've ever been to the doctor, but the doctors in Korea are really, really like cheap. So gotta get my, my cheap medicine in while I can, you know? Okay, time to go to the pharmacy. All right, so first of all, this is my pharmacy. Pharmacy in Korean is Yaku. And that is where I went to get my prescription filled. And let me tell you, that also only took like five minutes. Everything is really like so much easier here than it is in America. Okay, not everything. Not everything. But a lot of things. And medical stuff is one of those things. If you find a doctor that can speak English, which I do, which I did find, then medical stuff can be super easy and super cheap. And that's great because like I literally just bought my medication for this allergy thing for hmm, like three dollars three dollars usd and it's two days worth of medication it's not like a lot of pills but still for two dollars three dollars that's crazy and yeah now i'm going back home i've made three stops in a total of like 30 minutes Got everything settled. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Does anyone say that? I say that apparently. I'm trying not to film my own face too much because apparently that's something I tend to do and then people don't get a good idea of what it looks like here. Because it's just my beautiful face but y'all don't want to see my beautiful face. Y'all want to see Korea because that's more interesting. Just it is. So, here's Korea. It looks a lot like everywhere else, except everything is written in Korean. Well, not everything. Some things are written in English, and it's kind of funny. It's also nighttime now, which I find really interesting because, I don't know, I feel like it's usually not this dark at 7 o'clock, but I have to remember that it's getting colder, it's getting to be winter, and, you know, the days are shorter. So, here's my neighborhood at night. I'm gonna try to cut out all the parts where I show y'all the actual, like, building that I live in, because, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe I don't actually want to be stalked, but yeah, I'm getting close, so I'm gonna turn off the camera now. Boy, all right, y'all. Whew, I'm home. The day is done. Uh, oh, shoot, let me turn off the TV. All right, the day is done. I'm done doing everything that I need to do today. Um, exercise, check, because I rode my bike in the morning, uh, to and from school. Um, 
Uh, I guess I'll do a load of laundry and that'll be my like cleaning for the day. <laughs> uh, I went to the doctor. I went and picked up my wallet. Um, I went to the pharmacy, which wasn't on my list because I thought the doctor would have given up on giving me medication, but no, he gave me even more. But it's fine. Hopefully everything turns out fine. I have to go back on Thursday. Y'all don't care about that. I'm sorry. I just ramble. Like, I'm in front of the camera. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say, so I just say everything. I sound really Texan today. I don't know why. I'm not a Texan Texan. I'm like a Texan. You don't know what that means. Um. Yeah. Uh, so that's my video, y'all. Please tell me if there's anything you want to see. Uh from me next because I pretty much like I'm just gonna pretty much probably keep doing vlogs unless I can think of a real good thing to entertain the masses you know what I mean like yeah let me know comment subscribe like give me a thumbs up you know what I'm saying I mean I must be tired I'm getting loopy so at this point there's nothing left to say so Bye. Hold up, I'm tootie. Out of control, baby. I'm feeling so energetic. Y'all, do you see these curls? They popping though. Like, my curls look good. Like, y'all, really. The definition. Would you believe that I got curls like this from just using one product and some gel? And it's not even like a store-bought product. Like, I put some raw shea butter in the blender. Yes, the blender that you make smoothies in. I put some raw shea butter in the blender with some coconut oil, some tea tree oil. Was that it? I think that was it. Coconut oil, tea tree oil, and some olive oil. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. Not a lot because olive oil stinks just being honest it smells bad um if I had grapeseed oil I would rather use that because it's scentless so I'm gonna buy some grapeseed oil next paycheck but yeah that that's my styling product was just like my whipped shea butter and I did a twist out and this is not even the first day of the twist out this is the second day of the twist out and it feels so moisturized like it's not dry at all and look at this bounce man Look at it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I'm very proud of my work. <laughs> my hair looks good. Anyways, oh, by the way, guys, do you like my um haircut? The back is so short. You can't really see it, but it's real, real short. But this is all for the health of my hair. Well, partially it was for my Halloween costume. But partially for the health of my hair because I just hadn't had a haircut in so long that the dead ends of my hair were like growing upwards like there were split ends and they were splitting higher and higher and it was just not good it wasn't so now it's all gone and my hair is juicy bouncy but delicious delicious is not a word it is now delicious hair hashtag team delicious hair hashtag no hashtags on YouTube or something. <laughs> Y'all, somebody stop me. I'm rambling. I love you. Hope you love me too. This is me, guys. <laughs>